Hello everyone and welcome to Theme Park Coasting and yes today we are over here at Lagerland Windsor for not just the Brick or Treat event but also the Fireworks Spectacular which is over at this park and all of that combined it's going to be an absolutely amazing vlog today so from what 12 o'clock now all the way up to 8 o'clock at night we're going to be here and giving you our reviews on absolutely everything so make sure to stay tuned and not only that but it is our full theme park that we have done on our brand new series of theme park ghosting. So if you haven't seen the other ones of those, make sure to check them out as they are absolutely amazing when we head around to all the Halloween events over at all the parks. And already as we are entering the park, we can tell that there's been vast improvements from last year and they've got all these flags coming down. So there are roughly five Halloween events over here at this park. No mazes, just a lot of Halloween fun, brick or treat, uh, enchanted woods, hill train uh, scares and stuff like that. So when we find our first Halloween event, which is going to be down over at the Imagination Centre, we're going to give you all of our views on everything over here. And in the halfway through the vlog, we will re-watch the Firework Spectacular over here and give you the full show that we see. So enjoy. Oh, like a Windsor vlog. Bye. There we go. For our first Halloween event over at the park, it's just down here in the Imagination Centre where there is a show. And I forgot to mention, we are joined today by Adam Derrick. Okay. So, are you excited for today? Yeah, I'm really excited. I've been here on Thursday afternoon for the Emily Brook Treat, but I didn't actually do much because it was an after school time. Um, and we did do that thing there. That is the um, where the thing's got took down the dropped out a little bit. It's got took down what and it's it? like a trick or trail and they had some good actors. You'll see them today. It's quite good. Obviously it's not chairs and standards and stuff for or party. Park, yeah. Or yeah, tires, but it's still good. So yeah, we're gonna show you it right now. It's not it it's not massive, easiest. but it's still Dead. pretty cool. And yeah, here we go. Have a quick look at the Brick or Treat Trail. Let's go. And we'll be heading in there just to show you a bit around this awesome trail. I wonder what we're going to find in the Brick or Treat Trail. We're going to give a whole review on it once we do. And you'll see we are going to do some wild set as well. This Halloween today, I decided to head in a bit of style. Like yes, them. we're over here at like <laughs> Legoland Halloween. Yeah. And we were just be in that brick or treat area, as you saw Adam demonstrating over there. And I've decided to dress up a little bit for today and look at my style. Right. And sorry, not too uh, much. No, no, no. That, that made it straightforward now. You broke yours. So you yeah, well, had, I had to give mine. you mine. And it was only up there. Already he's broken. It was only up there. You had to work down there. <laughs> and that's already broken. <laughs> And yeah, at the moment we're gonna have a we're gonna have a quick look around and other stuff to do at Halloween. Yeah. So you get this, the, and then you get inside. If you do this, I already know what it is. So That's what we're still gonna do it. We have decided the prize will be revealed later on. And Adam, go through again. What we have to do it on this. Okay. So you get that. Yeah. Inside. And you complete all the challenges. You do yeah. all this. So you find doors they set up there. Um, and in this one, you find, um, I imagine you find signs around the side, and this one tells you what it is, so that is what you get, because it tells yeah. you down the And also, at, at the mini land, they even just have a mini land, they have decided the to design like little bats and ghosts all around this area, which we really actually made better feeling this year. Like and yeah, we made better feeling this year, as last year we only had like the little enchanted forest, Well, this year they've added more stuff around the park and it is a whole lot better this year. So I'm really happy to be over here. And obviously the hill train has got their scary Halloween stuff on, and we'll probably do that near the end of the day. It's, I think we've just pictures on this. I don't think it's massively phenomenal, but I think now it's time to head on a ride. So we're going to see you when we find our next ride that we're going to head on to. Or if we do find another Halloween event, we'll show you that as well. So here we go, on to the next ride. Bye. Oh, right, there's a firework pop up shop for fireworks. So new for me and this year is the like, uh, Windsor Castle, which I think is quite convenient that it is Windsor over here. And yeah. And I think that's Harry and Meghan inside the horse as well. Jack. Newly married. And yeah, there's all the picnics and everything. And it's really good because actually how we're adding new really stuff to Mini Land, not just keeping it how it was at the start. Because they could easily just do that. But they've added all the new countries and they've added now this. 
And yeah, really impressive Legoland this year. And obviously today is probably the main event that Legoland's ever done of the year. As it is, not just for Brick or Treat, but it is the fireworks as well. Which is going to be phenomenal and we're going to get a really good seat to show you guys it. And yeah, we're going to say goodbye from Winter Castle so we'll and see you when we see you go on the ride. Yeah, we will. So as you saw, we had a quick look at the first one of the missing ingredients and what that really is, you look at all the ingredients, you find all the stuff and then you go to the Enchanted Falls which is just down here which we're heading to shortly, you put in your thing and you get a little surprise, which Adam did get but I actually don't know what it is so I'm actually really excited to find out. And obviously as well, there's a couple more of those sort of things, so not about half leg and stuff. So there's one with a pot badge where you can get a uh, pot badge of a firework which is one of the firework spectacular events over here and yeah this is no way near what Friday night is to be honest with you guys but it's still a pretty good event and we're awesome rats it's, it's actually pretty cool so apart, like Friday night you don't really get all this sort of exploring so it's kind of just walk around and do all this stuff so for little kids this is like a little kid's dream so anyway we're now going to head around and see what other clues we can find to do the challenges and we're probably going to head down here in the road and see the other rides that we can head on to and yeah, hope you enjoy the rest of Freckle or Treat. And I still have a couple of hours left of this vlog. It's <laughs> only yeah. seven hours. Yeah, seven hours left of part. Quite a long time. But the point is, hopefully you'll like the final works because we're going to do on tiles as well for two days. But yeah. So coming soon as well, probably yeah, next week. We have got the fireworks over at Auckland Towers, which is brand new as well. And I'm really sorry for that. But unfortunately, we're not heading to Scarefest for Auckland Towers this year as we did not get time to go and Adam does not want to head there so we can't really head there but here you go for the second clue of Brick or Treat the Cyclops I think it is, yeah the Cyclops, well done oh, amazing, there you go So now we're going to do a quick treat for you guys because as you know it's spring 2019 if you've been watching our construction updates there is going to be a new update of the haunted house over here and now we're actually going to start filming episode 3 of it so we're going to quickly show you a couple of clips of the haunted house over here at the park and if you want to see more of them maybe just like our October one over on episode 3 so here you go enjoy the couple of clips that we're going to show you right now I hope you enjoyed the haunted house, which is actually coming on really well. But we quickly decided that there's no point showing you inside the daytime over here at the Ecclan. But what we should be showing you is during the night. So we're not going to do a massive load of vlog during the daytime. But when it gets to night, we're going to do a massive vlog with all the fireworks, the rides at night, and so much more. So it's actually going to be really awesome. Obviously, we will be completing many rides today, as well as doing the Halloween trail, which you have to complete by five. So we will be showing you all of that. But if you want to see a really awesome vlog, make sure to wait for a tiny bit longer where it's evening we're going to be heading into night time which is going to have an awesome fireworks show and so much more. So roughly 10-20 minutes from now you'll be seeing all the fireworks. Stay tuned for that. We decided to head on to Atlantis. So we're going to head in the queue right now and show you a bit around the queue line as well as the ride. This is one of the best rides here. It's been recently done in 2012 and actually we've had a bit more characters actually from the queue line. I remember when I used to chuff along keep this ride and it's kind of been in the queue line. So obviously the queue line at the moment is not as long as it used to be. So let's head on to Atlantis. Enjoy your underwater adventure through fish, fish and water. Sharks. The sharks we can see are adult zebra sharks, 
They may have spots now, but were actually born with stripes. The biggest of the sharks can be up to 2.5 meters long, and wider than this submarine. But they are really friendly. They don't seem to be taking any notice of those Lego guys. What about those grey sharks? What grey sharks? Computer, identify. That is a toaster shark. I've never heard of a toaster shark before. I'm pressing the control button which matches. Identified black tip reef shark. Well done, tip on the shark's dorsal feet. I've just realised what a clever ride that is. I was on it and just didn't really realise that I was actually before but it first opened in 2012-ish. Actually, it is such a good ride, especially for little kids. Like, obviously we know that it stays above water the whole time. But for little kids, it is so immersive because you can't even, like, see the water. It's uh, above you. It's really clever. Like, I'm very impressed with this ride, actually, and I'm definitely going to head it way more times. And actually, the Haunted House, which I will be talking about later in our Haunted House society, we have had something new, which will be in our November... Uh, update and a bit of it in our October, so stay tuned for that. And yeah, at that moment, we're just waiting for my parents and my brother to turn up. We've got roughly four hours left now before the evening show starts, so we're gonna have a quick look around, do more Halloween stuff, and see you shortly. Enjoy the other bits from the Park Coasting and our new series, the Park Coasting. Yes, so we've just finished watching the Bottle Skin from Show, and it is one of the best shows I've ever seen, one of the best stunt shows I've ever seen. But the two other best stunts I've ever seen is the Indiana Jones show, Stunt Spectacular, over at Disney World, Orlando, in Hollywood Studios over there, and it is that one there. They're two just amazing shows, really good, really high jumps, landing and really good stuff, amazing that show. And Adam, while we're doing that, Adam went and looked at the, some of the spooky things. Yeah, I looked at the spooky things. And we got a couple of put bags from all that. Yeah. From the fireworks. Yeah. Um, so basically, I've done a bit of that, there's like a mosaic thing down there, and you can do bits of it, and, we, and I've done a bit of the witch's mouth, the mosaic bit. So it was quite cool. It was 3D as well, so it was good. But okay. Yeah, we had to do that. So. Yeah, as well, we're going to head over to Enchanted Forest right away. So we're going to head into Enchanted Forest. And then, and then, and then you've added the bit I built as well. We'll show you the bit I built. And yes, we're going to head into Parts Coast right now, Park Shores right now, to see you when we're into to Forest for Halloween events. Here we go, into the Enchanted Forest. Ooh, a couple of pumpkins over here. Right in front of the world's uh, biggest pumpkin, Lego, or well, whatever, something like that. Yeah, anyway, see you in the next stage. Wow, that was pretty good, but not like anything like Friday or anything like that. But yes, we're now going to head on to Wars, the Dragon Wall Coaster. God knows how big a queue is for it. It's probably a massive queue, but we don't know if we're going to do it or not. We're going to head over towards it and have a quick look. I hope you enjoyed it today. It's really, been really awesome for us. I hope you enjoyed it too. So here we go for Dragon Wall Coaster. Yes, we have just waited two hour, well, no, one hour for Jay Wilco and Hell was that Adam? Yeah, it was very good and yeah. as well. Yeah, it was yeah. really good. We got front rides and as well. I've got so we're gonna go to the hub fish and chips. And though we know the way, I've got the real my Yeah, awesome. And let's, get, and let's talk to everyone. And how was the ride? Oh, yeah, it was good. Yeah, front row, always good. Uh, like the first shop, like the head choppers. Uh, um, yeah, it's just a nice ride for everyone, really. Oh, yeah. And Not yeah, too scary. really good ride. And now we're heading towards the Harbour Fish and Chip shop, that's right where we are. Gonna watch for fireworks. So make sure you stay tuned as we watch the fireworks spectacular coming soon. A couple of minutes to go. So excited. Get ready for fireworks. Remember you land noises and light effects during the show. So ever. Amazing. Amazing. And enjoy the Park Coasters fireworks.
yes, the most themed area over here is actually the toilets. And yeah, really nice. Sun. And yes, Adam. Every time we do a fart, what we have to say is the sunset. The sunset is at 6 Okay. Or maybe, yeah, six traps per day. Great. And uh, yeah, we're not going to have a seat to fix right now. Yes, we've just finished uh, our little dinner sort of thing and we should have got the show as well from over there and now we're going to consider that going on to Chris's surface. Is it zero minutes or is it just close? We don't know. And anyway, we're going to head over there and shoot a bit of stuff at dark at the moment and then we're going to go some vice once we watch the fireworks and show you around. Thank you. Yeah, so what I was gonna say to you guys, yeah, we decided not to do squid surface because it was actually close. The whole area though is actually close. So now we're gonna have private shorts and we decided that we're gonna watch the fireworks tonight from Milliland. Hopefully there'll be a ton of more car over there and then afterwards, luckily, we will do more rides. So yes, we're gonna quickly head over towards the Dragon Royal Coast or wherever we're gonna head to. I don't know, I don't plan the day, it's Adam who plans it all for us. Yeah, Dra uh, Dragon Rock was too long and uh, I don't know if we were doing it or not. But yeah, we're now going to head over towards Miniland. And how's Miniland, Adam? Okay, he doesn't know. Uh, so yeah, we're going to head over there right now. And yeah, see you as we head up to watch the fireworks. Let's do it. It's been 23 years since my friend Kjell Kirk Christiansen decided to build his first Legoland park outside of Denmark. That park was of course Legoland Windsor. Legoland has taken us on a journey of discovery, brought heroes to life, and inspired master builders of all ages to reach their true potential. Thank you to each and every guest, colleague and friend that has been a part of our story, and we hope you continue to play your part for years to come.
golden key. Now all I need is that chest, and the treasure is mine!
when we are ready to confront it. A ninja does not despair. A ninja never admits defeat.
get out amazing. Amazing, absolutely amazing. The fireworks, amazing. The storyline, absolutely amazing. Especially how we put in the part of Skeleton Base show for last year in it. Absolutely phenomenal. Jaden would have loved it. And here comes the lights back on now. And yeah, absolutely. Just, I can't, I'm, so, I'm speechless. I really have done myself this year. And to Adam, what did you think of it? Amazing, better than next show night year, better than the Ninjago year, because it was all of it together. Yeah. Every we had Batman movie, Star Wars, all of them really out of a whole Lego. So it was very, very nice. Yeah, they've combined the whole history of Lego all into one show. Absolutely phenomenal. And Danny, how was it? Well, my, my view, if you, if you don't come and see it, you've missed out. Yeah. Simple as that. Better than any so other fireworks I've ever seen in my life. Absolutely phenomenal. Yeah. It's like Lego with a story. We've all kind of, you kind of learn all about it just in one story. Really, really phenomenal. I know. I've, like, I'll say, we've done other stuff. If you, yeah, you need to come over here. I'm definitely going to make another visit this year over to the fireworks because that is just absolutely amazing. It was, really. just, it was the story of the superheroes of Lego Land. Yeah. I mean, this is good. I know we're not going to put Orton Tower, and I'm going to tell you two more things. Orton Towers, if this is good, what is Orton Towers going to be yeah, like? Yeah, I know. And how's on the lake? I really loved it. Very yeah. good. Very good. My Anyways, only thing I didn't like was the fact Johnny Thunder wasn't in it. Yeah, that was a yeah, a lot, a lot of like well have it added the Poskin to Bay like I said before, which was kind of like an olden day uh, from last year, but they've, really, they've added it in and combined yeah. it with all the other Lego, as well as the old Denmark sure. Lego Land. And yeah, absolutely phenomenal. Yeah, we're going to head out head over towards Dragon Ball Ghost to yeah, ride out in the dark. All the crowds and yeah, this, we here need we to go. go quick. Yeah, here we are over at. Uh, what is it called? I swear this is Orton Towers music. Oh, oh, vampire, that's it, vampire. Oh, the vampire, vampire music is played in the background. Let's have a ride on Vampire, why not? Yeah. No, we're in the train yeah. station. It's weird, yeah. oh yeah. It, yeah, it, it, it must be Halloween I saw, I saw a vampire nemesis in one of those but it's rather quiet in here. Now look at this. I have a castle, it's like, it's like all the lights have just turned off. What's happening? Like, you can't hear over there. But yeah, awesome. It feels like we're into the medieval castle. Oh my god, it's so cute. Wow. Five minutes. Five minutes. Yeah, no, walk on front row, back row. Amazing, can't kind of guys, let's get moving. This is, this, this is why I didn't do much of a vlog in the day, because we can show you all these guys at night. Because you, you're bored of us in every day. Here yeah, we go. Yeah, here we go. She has got a tiny bit bigger now. Just been up the last five minutes. But yeah, that was a really good ride with Dark. And yeah. That's bleh, really, really good. And yeah, really good riding dog. And what can I say? It's just like walking in the dog. But it just means it's like really nice in the dog. It just makes it like a little bit better than the other rides. And it is really good. And now we're going to head over towards another ride. It is half seven at the moment. And yeah, what are you going to head now? Part of me and Jargo. I only just thought it was some way back. Yeah. It's great in the dark, it's isn't it? Yeah, speeches. It's really yeah, good. really good. And yeah, we're going to head over to Austin and the Jogger area. We're just going to have a hot experience of Black and Dark. Because not only is this uh, the last theme park ghost in uh, area we're going to do a vlog at, which is which has been Fort Park Fight Night, Challenge World of Adventures, and now Black and Winter. But also, we're this is the first one of our two firework adventures, and our second one will be over at Autumn Towers Resorts. For the firework check out over there, which, I'm, which after the one that Merlin produced over here, I'm really excited to see all of that. So, yeah, apparently it says free kids' meal, but I think it's very unlikely that you're gonna get a kids' meal and an animal's meal. But we're just gonna check it out quickly and just tell you quickly. And if you can, come in and just buy like 10 burgers or something. And yeah, here we go. Minimum height restriction of 0.9 why do they play this once everyone's on it? And the children between the heights of 0.9 metres <laughs> and 1.3 metres must be accompanied by an adult over the age of 16. Fireworks are good tonight. Each drone can accommodate Better than the last couple of years. And there can be no more than eight adults on the ride. Take your heart out. Timber! 
another thing for you guys, after the fireworks are on, all the kids' meals are actually free. And you definitely buy an adult meal, so definitely, that's something you can't definitely get on. All the places are closed right now, obviously. But yeah, we're now going to head up towards the exit just to end the vlog. And I've and I've got another tip for you guys, is part down where the hotel car park is. Because I know you should be doing it, but A, if you haven't got any money uh, to pay for the car park, park down there, because you can walk on water down again, it's free. It's not only for hotel guests. B, uh, you just went in the long traffic jam going down the hill to exit. And C, it's a bit of exercise to be honest with you. But uh, anyway, how was your day so far, though? Yeah, it was really good. Fireworks were good. Um, yeah, everything was good. And if you come next, kids do Yeah, I know, it yeah, I've it. Oh, have you told me? Yeah, and look yeah. at those lights up there. So Amazing. it's very, very good, but it's only after the fireworks. Only after yeah, the fireworks. remember. On firework night, so check them out. Yeah, check out the fireworks. This will be uploaded one day after, actually. It will be uploaded tomorrow, which is one day. Anyway, after the street performance, we're just going to see you soon. It's known as the city that never sleeps. Yeah, so we've had an amazing day over here today, and honestly, we are at the start of here thinking, yeah, it's okay. I'm not expecting a lot. Full part of fun, and everything is okay, and yet, but better than this. And Chesterton as well was, I would not expect to be very good, but actually, it was amazing. But I thought this is just going to be naff, really. I thought this was going to be not very good. It's just going to be like a little children's. Like when I first saw the first activity where there's a guy talking and then you got a special zombie hat thinking yeah it's gonna be like that I thought when actually when I actually experienced the fireworks and when we went over here I actually realised this is blimmin' amazing and yeah absolutely phenomenal over here today and I'm so amazed now I'm just going on the start it's got a lot of running to do but yeah Phenomenal, absolutely phenomenal. And I'm just going to say goodbye from all of us right now. I'm sorry for Clown, just to end the Fright Nights a bit. And obviously next week we'll be heading over towards the Roaming Circus over at Fright Night for our second vlog with Jade and Austin. So there's a clown here, obviously the clowns at Fort Park isn't the scariest now. <laughs> but yeah, anyway I'm going to say goodbye from me and Adam when he manages to run up eventually. But yeah, I'm just going to wait for Adam now. So yeah. Um, Really good day, and yeah, good really, fire, really good fireworks. Really good, nice to dragon roller coaster in the dark. That was just, that was good. Um, Adam's just finishing it on the slides, and then we're going to make a move home. Um, and yeah, he's looking like he wants to do all the slides before we go. Adam, and here's Adam coming up right now. Adam, come here quick. So quick. thank you all for watching, and see you soon because this is theme park coasting. And yeah, one more word by Adam. How was your day today? Yeah, it was good. The fireworks, I think I've explained it. But yeah, so goodbye from all of us over here. And we'll be seeing you at Fort Park Fright Night next week. And if you want to see more fireworks, we'll be seeing you over at Orton Towers as well next week. So it's going to be a jam packed holiday. See you soon. Bye. <laughs>